pretty sure that's all tied up. Oh, no, no. I see you're hanging up the lanterns again. Yes, that's what I do every Chinese New Year. Uh, why exactly do you do that every single year? What is so special about these old lanterns anyway? These have been in the family for centuries. I can't believe... Oh, wait. I've never told you the story, have I? Um... What story was that again? Ugh, the one about Chinese New Year, of course. May, are you down there? Uh, yes I am. Ugh, everyone always interrupts my stories. Which one are you telling her now? I was just getting to that. It is the legend of Nyan. Oh, I remember you telling me that story as a kid. Speaking of kids, May, could you come help me prepare the lunch? All the guests are coming in a few hours. Yeah, sure, Mother. I just don't understand why we have to do so much for this holiday. Now, my dear, come here and I'll tell you the story. This story takes place many years ago in China. Chinese New Year is celebrating the beginning of the ancient Lunar New Year. It would start on every second new moon of the year. And since this was close to the end of winter, there wasn't much food to be found. Especially not for the animals who lived out of the villages. Fresh fruit and veggies for sale! Uh, what's that over there? Huh? I don't see anything. Hey, stop that dragon! Oh, excuse me, coming through? What? Oh, oh. Legend has it. Oh, hey! Nian, the big ferocious monster, part lion, oh. part bull, and part dragon would come to the village. Oh, please don't hurt me. Hey, why'd you stop running? Uh. He was a terrible villain. He would come to the village because he lived in the mountaintops where there was no food. He was so starving and so angry that he would attack. You're on your own. What? No! We need to pack up this door quickly. Lei, go inside. He would steal all the food, the crops, the juice, ah. and all that was left. He could not be stopped. Ah. I'm safe now. was very loud and obnoxious. This would force the villagers to stay in their homes for a long amount of time to make sure they were protected and safe from what was happening outside. One year there was a new pet in town, an old man who did not have a home and was not from this village. Excuse me, I'm new to town. You should really get inside. I don't have time for this. Wait, I don't have anywhere to stay. He asked around, but no one would let him stay with them. They were too afraid to go outside their homes. <sighs> what am I going to do now? That was until an old lady spotted him, and he asked if he could come in. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were the monster. Uh, monster? I'm so sorry. I, I have got to get inside. She said she needs to stay inside. inside so he asks why everyone is hiding. 
Wait, please can I ask one question? I'm sorry, I've really got to get inside. Oh, and so should you, it's not safe out here. But why isn't it safe? I don't see anything that's a threat. It just visited, so- She explained how Nian was terrorizing the village. And it was not safe. It? The monster, haven't you been around recently? Is it perhaps Nian? I thought he was long gone. Whatever do you mean, long gone? And can we please wrap this up? He might be here soon. He says if you, if you can stay, stay one home, night, he'll be able, to get, night, I'll be able to get rid of the monster for good. I'll be able to get rid of this monster. For good. Alright then, now come on. She agrees, but says to come in quickly. He instructed that Neon was afraid of red, and they should use firecrackers to make loud noises, and hang lanterns and make sure everything was red in the village. Nian is afraid of three things. Loud noises, red, and firecrackers. Which means in order to get rid of Nian, we've got to make this village so red that he'll be so afraid that he'll never come back. Make sure you stay behind me, okay? I sense something. You have firecrackers on hand? Yes. And once I set them, you know the signal. He's coming. That night, Nian approached the villa. First he saw the red banners, and walked backwards, and then the lanterns. He's already reacting. This will work. I'll set off the firecrackers. I know it'll be the last thing that'll scare him off. I wonder what's going to happen. And the loud noise is coming from the fire. ran fast after them. Nian's never done that before. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. May we all live in peace. And because they listened to the old man, he went away and was never to be seen since. I had my doubts on how that would work, especially just with the colour red, but you were right. Thank you for saving our village. I owe you my thanks. And feel free to stay as long as you'd like. It's the least I can do. What you have done is already enough, but I should be on my way. And since this method worked so well, they continued to do this to protect themselves and the people against the chance of the return of Nian. And that is why we all celebrate the new year, and especially have feasts and celebrate with our families. I didn't think there was such a reason and such a cool story behind the new year. Thank you for telling me, Nai Nai. I should probably go help prepare the lunch soon, but could I help you hang the lanterns? Of course, May. That would be such a big help. One finished! That was so quick! I'll pass another one up! Ready for the next one!
It looks wonderful, May. Thank you for helping me. That's right. Now let's go help Mama with the food. Sure thing, sweetheart. Oh wait, one thing before you go inside. What is it, dearie? What Chinese zodiac is it this year? It's the year of the rat. Wait, isn't that what I am? Indeed it is. Now let's go inside. 